Gram Schmidt process because it's just a process. Finite fields. This is the disgusting part because I'm, I'm starting studying cryptography and finite fields I have to know and they look like they are something easy but they are not. You only have seven elements and you cannot deal with them. So, uh, <coughs> real field is the best field ever. All your spaces are real spaces. So we are going for real inner product spaces. Inner product is something you may remember from physics, right? You know how to take the scalar product or dot product in vectors of three dimension, right? Don't you? I guess this is how we know. Which we learn is that I'm not sure. Such a lot of that so we such a lot. This is how we use the system. All right. There's a concept of scalar product in real or uh, in the space R three. This is just a generalization of it. So what properties does it have? If you take the inner product of a vector by itself, it is always greater than or equal to zero. Well, inner product is something like this. You take two vectors, you create a scalar from that. Okay? I've seen so many examples of people that take the scalar product of two vectors and create a vector from it. This is sad, but this is sad for us. It means we could not give you the definitions, right? So I'm giving you the definitions. Inner product takes two vectors, gives a scalar. So the thing is, if you take a vector, take the product with itself, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Remember this uh, standard inner product from R3? What was it? A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3. This works for all geometric ideas that we have, okay? The orthogonality defined here corresponds to perpendicularity we have in three space, all right? That's why we are generalizing. <coughs> so BV should be greater than or equal to zero. And equality occurs if and only if V is the zero vector, okay? And please use something to indicate your zero is a vector. I'm using an arrow because sometimes scalar zero and vector zero can be confused <coughs> through the text. This is always greater than or equal to zero. And what else did we have? It is commutative. Okay? And something else about distribution, right? So let me write it. V times CW1 plus W2 will be what? Uh, C times, the scalar goes out, but just one of them, okay? This is not C, V, C, W going out as C times V, W. This is a common mistake. I will talk about it later. C times V, W, 1 plus V, W, 2. That's it. If you have to, memorize these, but you don't have to. If you practice enough, you know practice makes perfect. This is the only saying I like. So, <laughs> this is the inner product. What is orthogonality? We say V and W are orthogonal if the inner product of V and W is zero. And I'm not sure how they define this semester, but uh, many books define being orthogonal by <coughs> not just this, but for these two vectors to be non-zero. Orthogonality is defined for non-zero vectors, okay? Because zero in a product, anything equals zero, okay? That's it, orthogonality, başka ne lazım? 
Branschen nicht, aber wir machen mal jetzt. Ha, Norm! Norm! <coughs> the norm of a vector is defined to be the square root of the inner product of this vector by itself. Come on? That's it. Well, these guys fit our geometric understanding. If inner product of two vectors are zero in R cubed, they look like they are perpendicular to our eyes also. Okay? That's why we generalize all these ideas. Şimdi bir tane hayvan gibi bir soru çözeyim. İnşallah vardır hayal gibi bir soru çözeceğiz. Allah'ım. Matris uzayları için orta normal baz bulmak istiyorum. Hangi tanımlar mesela? Bunlar var sadece başka bir tanım var mı? Tabii tabii onlar hep metod ama. Or ha normal ne demek konuşuyor? Orta normal ne demek? Bir matris sorusu yandı adam. Yazmamış vallahi. Şey. Uğraşıp duracağız. Normal, e, kusursuz bulmamak, bir de gram sayı. Tamam, onlar tamam. Hangi? Şunda. Normal, e, engel var, bir de gram sayı. Kosay nokta engel'i gösterdi mi? Evet. Esini bu yazmış. Kandırıldım. Because since I have not solved it before, I could not arrange the numbers, but we will see. Uh, evet. I'm not sure if this is a basis or not, by the way. We will see, and if something happens, we will go back and uh, reorganize our problem. How do I show that this is a basis of R2 by 2? Well, vector spaces, real vector spaces, they are nice, but not nice enough, because they may look like this. What is the dimension of R2 by 2? Do you know the stand standard ordered basis of R2 by 2? The standard basis is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. You go by the rows first and then you go through one row and then you go to the second row, etc. You have one, one, all the other entries are zero. So the dimension of the dimension of R2 by 2 is 4, okay? So I have four vectors, either I show they span all the space of matrices, or I show that they are linearly dependent, which means 
they consist a basis, okay? Uh, now for this one, I will show that this is, these are linear independent. What do I do? The thing is, looking at matrices like this, you cannot uh, deal with the elements very easily. So think of this as R4, okay? Every four dimensional vector space is the same thing as R to the four, but in a different form, okay? This is R to the four. This stands for the vector, the four tu tuple vector one zero zero zero, zero one zero zero. That's it, okay? So you can think of this as four dimensional vectors. So the coordinates of this one, according to the standard basis, what are they? One zero zero one. First row first, and then the second row. Zero, zero, three, four, two, one, zero, zero. You know, if you don't try hard, it is really hard to write four linearly dependent vectors. If I had succeeded at this, we will cheers. I don't know. I hope this is invertible. So, what do I do? Keep the first row. Keep the second row. Uh, subtract second row from the third row. Subtract first row from the fourth row. I have inshallah all the data. Ha? Şimdi bunun eksilmesini buraya ekle. Bu mu? Burası 4 mi olacak? Niye ama? En baştaki 3 4 var öyle. En baştaki 3 4 şunlar mı? Ha. Abi yanlış mı oldu? Bilmiyorum. 0 0 3 4 bunun koordinatları işte. Hayır hayır satır bay satır. Neden? Buna bakıyorum çünkü. Birincinin sıfır katı, ikincinin sıfır, ikinci bu. İkincinin sıfır katı, üçüncünün üç katı, dördüncünün dört katı. So, this was just a confusion about the coordinates, so this is okay. I don't need the standard basis anymore because I know what it is. What else would you do? I will take the second row and use this as a pivot. Add it to the first row, one, zero, zero, three. I was keeping this one. Exhibition, zero, zero, three. Exhibition, huh? Zero, zero, four. What's exhibition? Zero, zero, four minus three. As you see, these are linearly independent now. Okay? The first two are independent for sure. From these first two, you cannot have a, all the others, right? Because these entries are zero. You cannot have a linear combination of these two that have one in the first entry, right? Hmm. <coughs> these are linearly independent, so we are done. I just saw that these are linearly independent. Or you can go for the determinant of this guy. From this on, reducing is not an easy and I don't know, likeable thing. So you can go for the determinant, for example. The determinant is minus one times the determinant of this thing. Alright, so this is S. So S is the basis of. So obviously, if you were in the exam, you would not leave it like this and say this sentence, okay? You would say S has four elements. This has dimension four. S is linearly independent. This means S is a basis. 
Okay? Explain yourself well. So, we have shown that S is a basis. What was I going for? I wanted an orthonormal basis. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. Um, niye yapıyordum ben bunu? Orthonormal yapmak istiyordum. Well, let's call these guys A1, A2, A3, and A4. Yazacağım buraya bir çözüm. Kaç yüzde? Bitiyor. Uyarı vermeye başladı. 